Hey, it's Rachel, and I will tell you that a lot of parents come to me asking for specific strategies for handling the frustrating behaviors in your children in the moment as they're happening. And I have lots of tips and tools for handling behavior in the moment, but I'm a big believer that in the moment parenting is not the best use of your time and your energy, because you probably know when you're upset and they're upset, things go downhill really fast, and it takes a lot of energy to get you out of that place, and potentially a lot of time as well. So I'm a big believer in proactive strategies that prevent some of those frustrating behaviors from happening in the first place. And one of the most well-known proactive strategies, often you read this in books related to parents of younger children, this is something called special time, where you are giving one-on-one -on -one attention to each of your children. And this time is really important, and it does really, a lot of parents will say, yeah, when I have time with my kids one-on-one, -on -one, it really does improve their behavior. And that's because kids of all ages, including teenagers, I know your teens are resisting this type of one-on-one -on -one time, but they still notice when you don't give it to them. So all kids need this connection with you, they need to know they matter, and it does really improve their behavior. But I wanna give you a tip in case you are a busy parent, I will tell you that this special time does not have to take a lot of time. What's actually more important than how much time it takes is how predictable this time is. So I encourage you to make predictable time with your children. And there are really specific reasons that predictable time works better even than more time with your child. The first reason that predictable time work, works really well is because we schedule our kids' soccer practice and their swim lessons, and that's on our schedule and they see that. Well, when they also see that we schedule time with them on the calendar and they see their name next to these other events that we schedule, they see that they are as important as everything else that they're doing. And it can make them feel significant to know that we're scheduling these things, we're scheduling time with them as well. The second reason that predictable time helps a lot is because if you want your kids to interrupt you less and if you want them to bombard you less, maybe when you need a couple minutes to yourself, they're coming at you and trying to tell you everything. If you have predictable time, they're less likely to do those things because a lot of the reasons that kids are chasing after us, trying to tell us a million things is because we usually say to them, yeah, I'll listen to you later. And then we don't listen to them later. So they feel like in that moment, they have to get everything in. Otherwise, they don't know when they're going to get to get our attention again. And it's funny, I told a mom about this and she said, it's the same thing for adults. She said, when I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to talk to my husband, I will cram everything into one conversation or whenever I see him, I'll shove everything down his throat. But when we schedule time together and I know that's coming, I don't have to bombard him with information. And that is the truth. When we know it's coming, we don't need to really emphasize it at that moment. Another reason that predictable time helps a lot is because Let's say um, you can't listen to someone at the moment. Let's say your child wants to tell you something and you genuinely can't listen because you have something else to do. One of the things that you can say, and I say this to my kids all the time, is I'd love to hear this, but I can't listen now. Let's save it for the time we have together. And again, if they know that time is coming, generally they're like, okay, we'll save it for then. One of the things I do too, because I have a horrible memory, is I'll actually write down the things that my kids have tried to tell me, but I didn't have time to listen. And then when we get to that predictable time, I pull out that list and see if they still want to talk about it. And that makes them feel really, really good. Now, the last reason I think from a parenting perspective, predictable time is great, is because if your kids want to do something during that time that you don't really want to do, like my kids still sometimes want me to pretend to be someone or something, I don't love doing that. But if this time is predictable and it's scheduled, there's a beginning time and there's an end time. And you can almost prepare yourself ahead of time knowing that it's gonna end, that you can just suck it up for those few minutes and do what they really want you to do and what really fills their buckets so that their behavior is better later. So those are all the reasons predictable time works almost better than this just random special time. And it works better than lots of time to help your kids feel like they matter and to give you some sense of, I don't have to listen to them all the time when I know that time is coming. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at rachel at rachel-bailey.com. I'll see you next time.